And finally, the board was able to take a look at the schematic drawings of the new elementary school as presented by the architectural firm Greiner. Tonight they showed us the preliminary drawings and kind of the picture of what the building will look like. Uh, and the board did take action to approve this phase of the planning process. They next will move into very detailed drawings that will go out for bid uh, so that we can continue to move forward. The board also discussed but made no decision on a possible name for the new elementary school. Those mentioned include Orion Oaks, Explore, Mildred E. Williams Elementary, and Round Lake Elementary. The construction of the Lake Orion School District's first new building in decades officially got underway last week Thursday as officials and dignitaries gathered for a groundbreaking ceremony. On the property located at the southeast corner of Clarkson Road in Joslin, administration, faculty, parents, and even students gathered for a significant event in the district's history. A groundbreaking ceremony marked the beginning of construction for Orion Oaks Elementary School, one of the projects approved by voters in last September's school bond election. Former Carpenter Elementary School principal Christine Lehman will take her expertise to the new school. The groundbreaking is a really exciting day. It's an exciting day for the kids of Lake Orion and the parents and um, teachers and, and our staff. But uh, it's really exciting for me being the principal of the new elementary. We've been working extremely hard behind the scenes and we're waiting uh, to actually get the project going. And today that's actually going to happen. But I think the most exciting day for me will be the, the first day the kids come in and to see the expressions on their faces to see if it's what they want in the school. Very exciting. We're pleased to see the kickoff of the construction project and uh, just the beginning of what I hope will be a year of very good uh, building program and maybe we can come back uh, a year from now and open this building. You heard Mr. Bass correctly. The district's goal is to open the school to students for the start of the 96-97 school year. When it does open, what students will experience is far from what most students are used to in a traditional school setting. Project manager Judy Miller from the architectural firm Griner explains. What's interesting is the educational concept that the school district has come up with, and that is uh, uh, the concept of neighborhoods where there will be small schools within the school um, initially probably only one that will uh, operate um, as a small school and the kids will move through that one neighborhood for their uh, entire K-5 career. So it's a really exciting concept. We've never been able to build a whole school of it. We've remodeled some to do that so uh, we're quite excited about it. There was a lot of work behind the scenes. We had teachers from every elementary building, parents from every elementary building. We had representatives from our central office, obviously the architect office, and some community people. Uh, we've also asked students to help, and we are going to do uh, some heavy-duty surveying of students for the actual educational process that will take place in the building. So we're looking forward to doing that this fall. Another interesting bit of information about the school is how the district solved what could have been a major stumbling block. To provide the school with an adequate sewer system would have cost the district over $600,000, far more than what was budgeted for. But by entering a three-way deal in which the district gave up some property to Orion Township, the cost of the sewer system will now cost taxpayers around $200,000. Yeah, we feel really good that three different governmental agencies could work together really for the benefit of all taxpayers. We needed the sewer brought to this site. The township of Oria needed some property, which we have some extra on the end of this piece. And uh, right across the street, the Oakland County Parks Commission also needed some sewer work. So by combining the resources and dollars, we're able to meet the needs of all three uh, governmental groups. Bass also told us that the school district has owned that parcel of property for quite some time now and has had many offers to sell it, but because of its centralized position within the district, it has always been considered an ideal location for a new school. Representatives of the construction company Barton Mallow led school officials through the 64,000 square foot facility. Construction began in August of 1995 and will come to an end in July of this year. I think it gives them a, an idea of what it's starting to look like when it's finished. It's in the stages now where they can see that some areas are going to look like real classrooms. Any earlier, they would have just been in the mud everywhere. So it gives them some idea of the finished, finished product. This one, as far as a new elementary school, has been a lot different. It's got a lot more details in it and just open spaces. and the finishes, the bright colors, and it's, it's going to be beautiful. It's not your regular 
kind of humdrum, one-story elementary school. It has some beautiful details to it. It was the first time school board members were able to actually walk through the layout that incorporates the neighborhood concept, designed by Lake Orion staff and faculty with the help of the architectural firm Griner. I didn't have a real expectation. This is really my first time here since they started the construction. So I, um, I just was watching it, and, and I'm more, I really wanted to see it because I want to see it in this phase so that I can really appreciate when it's done, you know, what it went, like, how it was put up. And what I like about this is in different phases in the building now, and, and you get to see it all. But it's exciting picturing children and teachers and the hubbub of activity that's going to be in this building. And I really felt that in the gymnasium, because you could see the stage, and you can just picture all the parents sitting out there watching the annual holiday concert. Barton Mallow representatives said they've met every construction deadline so far and see no problems meeting the final deadline of completion in July of this year. Carpenter Elementary School principal Christine Lehman will move to the new school upon completion. Students and parents were able to take a sneak peek at their new school on Thursday, August 22nd during an open house. For many of them, it was the first time to step inside the school. Students were able to meet their teachers and examine the layout of the building, which includes the neighborhood concept of classrooms. The concept is just one of many features that makes Orion Oaks unique. One of, I think, the key factors that makes Orion Oaks special is that we are a school of choice, like Carpenter year-round, and what that means is that every child uh, and parent that are here are here because they chose to be here, and I think another key issue is that the staff is here because they chose to be here. We went through a process uh, working with the staff to bring people here who wanted to be a part of Orion Oaks with its multi-age concept, uh, technology, and school of choice. Orion Oaks has been described as the technology school, and venturing into the media center or any one of the classrooms demonstrates why. In researching technology uh, integration in the classroom, uh, what we looked at and concluded was that lower L students uh, need to learn basic skills, uh, and doing through that with uh, computer and technology integration, lower L classrooms have three computers, upper L classrooms have four computers, and we have a commons area where we're housing um, an additional three computers. Uh, we also have, um, as do um, a lot of our other schools in Lake Orion, we have fax machines, we have um, a number of other types of technology for student use. In March of this year, we here at New 65 had the opportunity to visit the school with members of the school board while it was still under construction. Comparing the video shot then with video shot at the open house demonstrates the progress that has been made in five short months. with you. Uh, the most important thing for me was to see student reaction. I personally have spent about 18 months uh, working with this project. It's been a, a once in a lifetime opportunity for, for anyone and um, it's just, uh, I have goosebumps and if anyone knows me I think they, they will understand. I am this, tonight was more exciting I think than Monday will be because it's the first time our kids actually had an opportunity to come in and see their school. 
If the open house did anything to calm the back-to-school jitters, you wouldn't have known it if you were at Orient Oaks this past Monday. Excitement filled the air as students arrived for the first day of school. The first busload of students arrived at about 9 a.m. Principal Chris Lehman personally welcomed them to their new school. More buses soon followed and the first wave of the school's 600 plus kids headed indoors. Once inside, the students were directed to the gym where they met up with their new teacher and other students sharing the same neighborhood. Principal Lehman explained how a student got assigned to a neighborhood. It was done very randomly, Joe. Um, we tried to look at all the things we look at when we play students in any class. We try and look at uh, gender ratios, uh, try and provide a homogenous setting for students in terms of ability levels. And so that's what we looked at. We also did try to keep at least uh, two students from a previous school in a room. Uh, I, I hope we did that so that kids would have a familiar face to look at when they came here in the fall. Following the orientation in the gym, all of the students went outside and gathered around the flagpole for an opening day ceremony. Orion Oaks' first flag was hoisted and the students and faculty broke into a chorus of America the Beautiful, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. On the way in, every teacher received an oak sapling grown from an acorn. Each teacher at Orion Oaks had to apply for a position. That includes the many teachers that had come from other Lake Orion schools. Why did I choose to teach here? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a new concept, and I believe that's the way that children learn best. And it, I got to play in the school, and it's wonderful. Um, what's going through your head first day of school? Are you feeling the same feelings that these kids are feeling? Oh, I'm sure I am. I want to make sure I get all the procedures down and we make it to lunch on time, and everybody's happy and wants to come back tomorrow. Well, I came to Orion Oaks because I believe in the philosophy of taking children where they are and bringing them along and uh, helping them to be the best that they can be and, and to uh, take their abilities and work with them on an individual basis. When I was interviewing for this district, I really liked the, how progressive everything was and all the technology, and I just really felt that I had a lot to offer this district as well they had a lot to offer to me. What is the first day of school like for teachers? I know what it's like for kids. What's it like for teachers? Well, this is it's a unique situation because not only is it their first day in a new school, but it's my first day as a full-time teacher in a new school, and I don't know about them, but I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think? All of the students starting school at Orient Oaks this year will become part of the district's history as the first students to attend there. The same students also have had a chance to become a permanent part of the school grounds. For a donation, parents can have their child's name engraved on a brick, which will be laid in the courtyard in the rear of the school. Businesses also have the same opportunity. Funds raised by the program will help provide enrichment programs, playground equipment, and computer software.